Messiah cherry picked the scriptures for us. For those that believe all the scriptures are true, don't believe the word of God because the word of God in the scriptures said, oh, you think you're wise? You think you have the law? The scribes have turned my law into a lie in your books. And this is before Paul even hit the scene. So those that like to just use that verse only for Paul don't know that voodoo was added to the leaven, which is voodoo, which is literally murdering animals and eating of flesh, which makes your body a living temple for devils. Let me tell you something about these devils and demons and I always get confused on which is which, but they hunger and thirst for flesh and blood. Even though they are dead, they are still here. Their spirits are still here on earth and they are literally living in your body. When you eat flesh and blood, you're feeding them. You are now offering your body, your temple, you are offering your body as a offering to them. Now they live in you. This is why Messiah said not to eat of the dead, but eat of the living. And he was talking about the words of his father. This is why he ran, uh, and ran in the temple. Okay. Ran in the church, which really we are the temple ran in the churches, the synagogues of Satan, where they were literally ma making a mockery out of uh, God, worshiping devils in the temples that are supposedly in God's name. Okay. He let the animals go free. And he said, my father's house is supposed to be a house of prayer, but y'all have made it into a den of plunderers not thieves, even though they are stealing there, you're stealing the animals life. Okay. They are who were sinning on the Sabbath, but they hid sin. They even hid the word sin, sin. And I'm going to reveal that, but he tells us cause he cherry picks certain things and tells us, okay, then learn what is mercy. I desire and not, or it says sacrifice or offering, not I came to call the righteous, but where it says sinners, these are those that go wrong. They're missing the mark because sin itself is something very specific. And people are saying, oh, it's not what you eat or drink. What is the very first lesson we learn when we read the Bible? The very first lesson is God told them Okay. He walked with them and was speaking with them, told them you can eat out of all this, but don't eat of this. And if you really pay attention to what this is, it was the living trees, the living trees. He called us trees. Things are so symbolic. You have to understand the word of God to really get it. Not only does he call us trees, he also calls us lamb and sheep. He also calls us wheat, which is grain. That's the living. The grain is not like, uh, the wheat is not like, like bread. Okay. The flour for bread. That's the living grain, the blood that they were profaning the, the temples, the, the churches of God, I shouldn't say temple. They were profaning the churches of God and, and, and literally serving devils because they were offering their body now to devils in what was supposed to be something holy. This is where they started going wrong, practicing voodoo. Okay. They were eating the living. And who craves the living? Them demons do. They hunger and thirst after flesh and blood. And even though they cannot eat or drink, they still crave it. So they inhabit your body. Now you become a host, a temple for devils when you eat flesh and blood. And when you do that, they live through you. And now you have the same wants and desires as them. And this is why you get worse and worse and you're never satisfied. This is why he said, you eat of my father's words. You do what he says. You partake of him and you'll never be thirsty or hungry again. This is what causes people to be glutton and blind. It says they're filled with this wine. When it talks about in Revelations, that big 
uh cup that big golden cup that um the sorcerers were feeding to babylon to make them all be deceived that's voodoo okay and you're and you all been needed and the merchants have been selling it to us even those that think they're eating vegan, they're sneaking it in. They're doing voodoo to our sugar. When sugar is white, it's made with bones. That's why we can't stop eating it and we crave it. If you really look up sorcery and go research the translation in Hebrew, they're cooks. And they've been showing it to us that truth hidden in plain sight, they have to give you truth in order to bind you. This is why when you see all the music videos, they have to show you who they are. Now they'll deny it, but they have to give you some truth in order to bind you. This is why Paul had to tell you that nothing good lived in him. He had to tell you that he served the law of sin with his flesh. He had to tell you that or, or when like you, he, them things couldn't bind you. So anyways, he goes and tells us to go learn this and I'm going to show you what they did and how I came across what the, what it looks like. Sin looks like in Greek, the original sin. Okay. That's literally leading people in transgression because once you partake of the original sin until you stop doing that, you cannot stop sinning. Not only that, you're, you're, there's really no such thing I would say as a husband and wife, like a husband and wife. It's just your man or your woman. And you're only supposed to have one from the beginning. The man left his father and mother and cling to his woman. Okay. When you see husband and wife, that's a perversion. And the two became one, not the three, not the four, not the five. The two became one from the very jump. You won't, you were not supposed to eat of the living, which is also translated manna. These were the ones in the midst of the garden, the living. Okay. It was the living. And they were also, if you eat of the living, that's what gives you the knowledge of good and evil. Okay. And people, that doesn't mean, you know, right from wrong now. No, now you think wrong is right and right is wrong, but they still teach you some good. Cause that's how they trick you. Like the lie is hidden in between the truth. That's how they deceive you. But let me back up. Okay. He, he tells us to go learn what this means. Now, this is many places, but let's go to Psalms 51, which is actually Psalms 50 in the Codex Sinaiticus. And I'm going to show you where they turned the truth into a lie and how they use witchcraft, which is manipulating of words, definition and words, changing the definition, changing the words and telling you they mean something they don't. And um, some of this is is different than the Codex Sinaiticus. It's not a lot of different, but the very end is where they deceive us. And we can see it here, just like we can see it in the Codex Sinaiticus. Once you start noticing what the word sin looks like, then you'll be able to pinpoint it and be able to understand clear his parables because he's revealing the truth. You thought you were better than the animals. No, you're not. And that's not what those parables say either. In fact, it's telling you you're not better than the animals. In fact, this is why Nebuchadnezzar, he had a big feast. He was feasting on flesh. And that's why he ended up becoming an animal and eating plants. And then he ended up not doing that anymore. You are going to find out that you are the beast. You are the Baphomet. Those that are hunting people will be the hunted. He does not want you to be like a pig. This is why he says the swine, the Edomites, the mouses, what do they do? They eat flesh. The prodigal son, he left his father's house. He ended up eating the same things the pigs ate. This is why he became dead. Even though he was alive, just like Messiah told them people, let the dead go bury the dead. That's the same exact word for the prodigal son. When he was eating the same things that the swine eat, the pigs, flesh, he was dead. He was blind. He couldn't see. So Psalms 51, I'm going to just show you a couple things they hid. This is Psalms 50 in the Codex Sinaiticus. And it's a, the law, even the verses are a couple things off. So I'm going to show you something they hid from us. Um, I think it's, 
Okay, so it's Psalms 51.5 here, which would be Psalms 57 in the Codex Sinaiticus. Behold, in lawlessness or lawless deeds, I was conceived and in what it says, sin, this is more like missing the mark, failing, crave strange food me, the mother me. Okay, they hid that. That has a lot to do with a lot of stuff. So he goes on to say, like, God forgive him. He's making a covenant with God. He's saying that he'll end up um, teaching transgressors his, um, God's ways and sinners will be converted because of him. Nobody knows who the Messiah is. Well, few, very few people know. But anyways, okay, so we get down to the part where Messiah told us to go learn what this means, okay? And he says right here, okay, for if I wanted, if, if you wanted sacrifice or offerings, I would have given it whole burnt carcass D. That's what this stands for. They throw all these words together so you don't know the truth. This is whole. This right here is burnt. And this right here, is carcass which is also o m a in english which is literally on the end of every single cancer and tumor that they find in people today because it is flesh that causes cancer it is eating flesh that causes tumor it is eating flesh that causes people to be senile it is eating flesh that causes them to be drunk and gluttonous it is eating flesh that's keeping people away from the truth okay it's partaking in voodoo and it's it's you're literally literally giving your body up to devils when you eat flesh now you are a host for devils and they're going to live in you and you're going to be blinded to the truth and you're going to have the same desires as the devils whole burnt flesh the not please with or think well of he don't like it so he's not going to turn around later and like it like they're trying to going to try to manipulate you to believe it says no he does not like it he's not pleased with it he hates it it's voodoo it's evil this is the reason the desolation is coming this is the reason the holocaust this also translates holocaust happened god warned him to stop doing it if you sow sin and this is the original sin you will reap sin this is why they got burned alive in them concentration camps. They were literally, literally making their temples a body for devils. And they were doing voodoo and it came back on them and it comes back on everybody that does it. Now you have the chance to repent of it. And I don't care if you're the one going out there hunting the animals. Yeah, you're even worse if you do that. But if you're eating the flesh, you're feeding the devils and this is what what keeps you blind this is why you don't know who the messiah is this is why you cannot stop sinning because this is the original sin and all the other curses come along with this one then looky here offer same word as sacrifice to god spirit broken heart broken and humbled god will not is this contempt it's like he won't he won't despise that he despises the whole burnt flesh sacrifice. He despises that, that Holocaust. That's why Hitler was allowed to come and do what he did. These people weren't worshiping God. They were worshiping devils. They were mixing the holy with the profane and they were doing this abomination up in his temple. Well, in his church, which was supposed to be his house. Okay, serving devils up in something that's supposed to be a place to serve God. You're up there serving devils and making your, and, and literally doing voodoo. So it says, do good, O Lord. Da, da, I'm not even going there because there's some things kind of hidden there. But let's get to this last verse. And I'm going to show you exactly how they deceived us. Then we'll be pleased with offering righteousness. And this is not offering again. This is like bring up. So then we'll be pleased with your offering of righteousness. You will bring up in whole burnt carcass the same exact word same exact spelling that's in um matthew 24 28 in the codex Sinaiticus, where it says where the carcass is same exact word the vultures will be gathered you if you're eating flesh you are the vulture that's also a prophecy somewhere else 
okay? So whole burnt carcass thee then, where it says they shall offer. No, this is three words thrown together as one. And the in the two words right in the middle of them is not sin. The same place it says not to murder, not murder. This is like not or don't sin. Okay, and this right here can be translated two different ways. It can be translated as bring up not sin, or it can also be translated as man not sin. Can be tr literally, it's both, it's both. So I don't even know which one it is or if it can be both. Well, surely it can. You're not supposed to bring up sin and you're not um, a man suppo not supposed to sin. So whole burnt offering or whole burnt, sorry, whole burnt carcass thee then bring up not sin upon thee. Or we're going to say whole burnt carcass thee then man not sin. Don't do that. Do not do it. Okay. Upon thee. Now this where it says altar, altar is actually a manipulation. It's actually two different words smashed together. So you don't know what it means. Okay. This first word right here is offer. The second word is deliverance. You young shoots. And I believe we are the young shoots because if you notice, he, re he refers to his son as a lamb, his son as a sheep. If you pay attention to when he, his son is David, but when you pay attention to the, the, uh, the little riddle he gave David through Nathan, what was it about, if you know? And, and a lot of it's manipulated. I translated it before, but it's pretty much he was asking David, what would you happen if there was this little Hugh lamb and uh, this man loved it and took care of it? And then one day somebody came and killed it and cooked it and ate it. And he was like, oh, no, I would do this and I would do that. Because the same, it is the same to to kill an animal as it is a human. You do not have dominion over the animals. That is a manipulation. That same word means something totally different. Go research it. You are not better than the animals. If you think you are, you're going to end up like Nebuchadnezzar. In fact, you're going to realize this is why we are. He literally refers to us as animals. In fact, we are the fish that it speaks of. Well, his true servants are the fish it speaks of when it. It, it makes would people believe that they're literally eating fish no it's like in the fish looked up into the heaven and uh praised god or blessed and broke the bread and passed it out it's a manipulation and most of them places have been completely changed in altars because the scribes led you away from the truth and this is why few are going to find life life is his true instructions his true instructions is life that was hidden when people literally started eating flesh the original sin so i was gonna tell you here so yeah like i said this it's been in front of our face the entire time and i'm gonna do more videos on it and uh i'm gonna show you what it looks like in ancient in, in the codex Sinatica, this right here this is not or don't sin. Okay, that's that same word. That's 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 what it looks like over there and over here. This is what it looks like. So they want to take three words, throw them together, and tell us that this one more word means offer. That is a lie. Now we can go take this exact same spelling and see. I see sin clear as day in there now, and it's everywhere now that I know what it is, and they hid it from us. This is, they're going to say this is same as that spelling was two times. That's a big red flag. No, because what they do, and this is how they manipulate us. They just cram words together the same way they did when it says, bless your enemies. No, that's actually bless those against the Romans. And they just literally took words, crammed them together, made up a whole new word. It's twisting the truth. 
And I don't see how these Greek scholars and these people that supposedly know all this don't know this, but they're not breaking down the words and the suffixes and the prefixes and really digging into what these things mean. They're just literally cramming words together and, and just making up whole new, just feeding you shit. They're feeding you lies. Okay. And like I said, this word right here can either translate bring up or it can translate man. And I like to go here and to go look at all the places that uses these words. And it's either man, bring up, sometimes they tram translate it offer. Either one of those, offer not sin, bring up not sin, man not sin. Okay, and then it tells you right after that, offer deliverance which is what they translate as offer. Those are two separate words. Anytime you see alter, that means offer deliverance. Or you could say sacrifice deliverance. That's a, a perversion. I don't even like to say sacrifice. These people were offering voodoo. So I'm going to do another video. I'm going to stop this one for now. I want you to go research this yourself. But now... I want you to be able to recognize what sin is because it's everywhere. It's been in front of our face the whole time. We just haven't been able to see it. It's been hidden from us. It, it was a curse that he said was going to happen. And it came out our ears and our eyes. It blinded us from the truth. This is wine we've been drinking. This is voodoo. It's how the merchants deceived the nations through sorcery, which literally translates pharmakia. And it has everything to do with the farm and killing and slaughtering of them animals, not just drugs, but drugs mainly consist of murder too, murdering babies, murdering animals, making potions. They literally, since we've been little, they've been showing us the truth. They had to, when you see witches, they're always taking animal parts and mixing them up with herbs and spices and and drinking them or feeding them to others and this is what casts spells on people and puts you under bondage like i said sorcery can literally translate chef in hebrew they also translate a high places translated all different things they lead us away from the truth they take the same word and they manipulate it into several different translations and just feed us crap cain was the hunter it actually translates that as he was a slave not a worker of the ground he was a slave to the earth he was a slave abel offered the first of the milk of the flock the milk not a not a living animal it was um cain that offered god manna which was the living being he killed it and offered it that's manna which kills they've hidden the true meaning of manna we are manna okay i manna i'm the living fruit also known as wheat but the wheat are the ones that do the will of god so they were offering manna. And those people that eat manna are practicing voodoo. And it's better that you chop off one of your limbs than to feel the, the wrath that's coming for these people if they don't stop doing this voodoo. <sighs> I was going to show you all some stuff, but I'm going to do another video. I don't want this too long. I'm going to do another video. I'm going to show you where you can read the parables now and see the truth if you know what sin looks like.